We just added honey supers onto that hive, and uh, we're going to open this one up. Give them a little bit of a little bit of smoke here to calm the bees down. As I understand it, the smoke makes the bees as a protective mechanism. They start eating a lot of honey, which calms them down, but it also changes their ability to sense pheromones. So. Uh, and they won't they can't smell each other's pheromones so that the when they get agitated from opening up the hive and go into a defense mode they can't smell the pheromones that are being emitted by other bees to do that so it helps to keep them calm and uh, some people can I, I've seen a lot of videos people doing this without any of the headgear gloves or anything just not at that point just yet um, I haven't really had when we did the other hive didn't really have any land on us or get particularly upset so but we'll see how this goes and uh, we'll open this one up and take a look and see how the bees are how the bees are doing in here smoke going there we go Bead. So we can calm these down a little bit and shoot them, brush them back into the. Definitely sounded like they were surprised when you opened them. We'll brush them, brush them gently back down into the into the hive or off of this. So this frame is, they've got, uh, they've built out down in here. You can see they've start, started to build out comb on several of these frames. They haven't really, this hive hasn't gotten as much over into this one as the other others have. Let's see if we can pull out one of these frames. They've glued these up pretty good. Propolis. see that they they glue up the edges on these pretty pretty well inside here Let's see if we can get to this oops get out of the way B heavy. That's, they're doing their work. Building brood and some capped honey up there at the top. You can see in, inside these cells right here, they're storing up. Pretty awesome. 
pretty awesome look. See that bee? The bees going inside the cells mm -hmm. right there. That is so cool. All right, girls, keep up the good work. Let's see if we can put this back down in here without hurting too many of them. Say what? Yeah. Push these back together. All right, and now we'll add uh, add the uh, put the top back. Put a queen separator on here is actually the first thing we were gonna do. Now get this. So this is the queen separator we got from Brushy Mountain. Just plastic sheet and the way it's designed is so that the queen can't fit through the, the slots to come up into these honey supers, but the workers can. So the workers can come up here and then that means that since she can't go up there, all the, uh, all that will be in these in these top boxes will be honey. And the queen can't come up and lay eggs inside these boxes and they will oops may have stuck on there from when we finished it they will only have honey get these all set and even down in here. this open this time it has an opening in the back top and called a top entrance so the worker bees can fly in from the top and they don't have to work their way all the way up from the bottom so we'll leave that open this time which we have not been leaving open we've had it closed off by sliding the lid forward to block that entrance off but we'll go ahead and open it up get everything lined up so when they glue it up it's nice and flush. So the bees use propolis in there to glue all of the all the edges. And last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take the sugar feeders off because they no longer they should no longer need these since they have at this point, as I understand it, that's what when people generally put the um, when they put the honey supers on, they take these take these away, which is good because they were going through a lot of sugar water. And that's it. Um, got the added those on. They look good. They're they're working hard and building comb and storing honey. So hopefully they'll start to fill these up. We won't take any honey from the hive this year. We'll do it, um, let them have all the honey this year. Since we started the hives late in the, late in the spring, we're gonna, um, we're gonna uh, let them have all the honey through the, through the, 
through the winter for themselves and um, and then we'll hopefully next next year we'll have have some uh, they'll start building again once we open the hive up they'll build it stronger and we'll start to be able to harvest some honey for ourselves next year